Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. So as I was a little bit unsure in the last episode as to whether or not this was uh, First World War or Second World War. I have been told, and I've also gone and looked it up a little bit, this is based at the beginning of the Second World War. Um, these planes here, I've been told by several aeroplane experts, that these were used as pilot training at the beginning of the war, because it was only 30 years um, that they were used in combat in the First World War, and there were, you know, slightly better planes used in the Second World War. But these ones here, these biplane models, these a lot of these were used for pilot training. So you'd also have seen that there was some other stuff as well. I think it's this vehicle here was made in the... 20s i think it was someone was saying um which would indicate that this is the uh, or early 30s maybe um which indicates that this is the second world war anyway but yeah um and according to the website it is second world war most of the stuff you'll see here is second world war stuff um but these planes here whilst they were used in the first world war they were also used in the second one as pilot training so that's what we've got at the moment our next task is we need to check all the spark plugs and we have to refuel the aircraft. Now the refueling of the aircraft I have noticed is a little bit more tedious than the rest of the job. So I'm hoping that they do eventually find a way for us to do this just a little bit faster which would be pretty cool. Um, but at the moment we don't have it any faster. We've, we've just kind of got to work with it like this. So there's that one off like that. Oops. Um, right click to come out of the, the dismantle mode like that and then we can come down here um, it's having to sort of run around like this an awful lot and then climb the climbing of the ladder is the bit that um, you know you, you, you get that one wrong and you accidentally pick the ladder up and things like that it, it can get a little bit annoying um, right we'll, we'll fill that one up like that that is done come out of there oh no I don't need to do that it's right click Right click to come out of there, like that. Uh, climb the ladder here. Put the hose away. So take you out. Run down here and put that one away. So then that one will rush off and be done with. Our RAF 230 number 5. And climb the ladder. Now, just for something a little bit different, I'm going to go to um, mode number 2. And I'm going to put the fuel cap right back on. It was pointed out last time that um, the bunker inspection could be rather interesting when Frithgar has been doing it all because of the fact that... Right. Oh, wait a minute. There was a bit of an update. There was a little bit of an update, and it looks like now you can't pick the ladder up from the front. So you're no longer accidentally um, picking that ladder up. You pick the ladder up from the side. So that is that that is going to make a big difference. That is going to make it a little bit better. Um, now, if we need we need to check the spark plugs. So we want to go to uh, option one like that, so that we can dismantle things. I want to take that one off like that, and then I want to go to you, and I want to take that one off as well. Then we will spin round. Why can't I spin round? Oh, I zoom out a bit. The right engine cowling right there. Click onto those two. Do that again and click on that one. And then the top engine cowling there. And undo those. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, you can see it easier from this side. Right. So now we have this bit here. Where are the spark plugs? Where are the spark plugs on this engine? See, this is this is the thing that I don't know. Right, this is the sort of thing that I don't know and I'm going to struggle with is where I would find. So we've got the top. Oh, I reckon we've probably got to take that off. In order to be able to access that properly, I think we need to take the um, propeller off. So the spinner has got to come off. So that one off there, like that, and then that piece comes off. Then that one, so I've got to do the spinner plate, which is undo those like that. They all come off. See? Like that. That one comes out. Then the air screw hub. 
Ah, no, right, then that one comes off. So now, no, I've still got, I've got that one. So I've got to undo that bit there. Then this bit here comes off. Like that. Now the front engine cowling can come off, which is two bolts out on this side. One there and there. And then I got two more bolts out on this side. And then that front piece can come off. Right, so now we've got the top engine cover uh, in order to move that. Oh, so I did have to do that anyway. I hope that I'm doing this right. So we want to do the crankcase front plate. So I'm going to take those off there. Undo all of those four. Remove that bad boy there. And now we're ready to remove that. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Look at all those. Loads of stuff here. I need a drink a minute. Hang on. I actually feel like I'm doing something with this now. If I, Well, so long as this is right. You, you, you know I've, I've done this before in like car mechanic. I did it in a tank mechanic on the live stream as well. I got too carried away. I took too much stuff off. I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have taken off most of the stuff that I took off. Right, so we've taken out all the long ones up there. They go into the main cover there. And now we need to go them like that. I see. Right, I see what we're doing. We're undoing the bottom of these all the way along like that. There. I'll leave those three at the front a minute. There. And then you've got to go back through and you, you've got to undo these because it looks like they're on a threaded case as well. So not only have they got bolts underneath, but they've also got threaded casings in there um, to hold the bolts down in. Double threads. I can see this taking quite a while. I'm really hoping that I've, I've got this right now. Right, I'll take those three off of there. And then that one, and that one, and that one. They come out. I am kind of glad that I don't have to press and hold the um, any, anything on it at all. I just do it like this. Right, this does make it a lot easier. Click on that one there. You come out. Right, so we've seen it up through there. I'll just run down through it. Just press and hold. That's all you've got to do is just press and hold the mouse button. And then, like, put the cursor over the top of them, and they all undo. Right, that is bolt number 347, 348, and 349. Have I done this? There's, um, there's no spark plugs in there. There's, there's no, <laughs> there's no spark plugs in there. <laughs> Why are there no spark plugs in there? There's supposed to be spark plugs. Why are there no spark plugs? I was promised spark plugs. Somebody tell me. Oh, I gotta take that one off. Why that? There, there should be spark plugs. I've taken all of that off, and I, I, I said this was gonna happen, didn't I? Didn't I tell you this was gonna happen? I said I'm gonna undo all of these, and it, it's, it's gonna be wrong. Some of you will have watched that and knew right from the beginning. And you didn't send out the, the appropriate vibes. So I'm blaming you. It's not my fault, it's your fault. So where are the spark? Ignition wire. Cylinder block. Is that something to do with it down here? Cylinder block assembly. Ignition wires. Right, well, let's, let's take these off. There's that one out. Cylinder block assembly. It's the whole thing together. That's... Really? They're at the bottom. They're, they're all at the bottom. Spark plug. I can't. 
I, I did it. I did it all wrong. I did it all wrong. Check. All spark. Option three. Check. Right? Check. Press and hold. That's, that's in pristine condition. Oh, hang on. I right clicked. Zoom in on there. Pristine. Fine. I'm assuming that fine is actually acceptable. Uh, can I... I can reach the spark plug in here. That one's fine. That one there is damaged. That one there is absolutely fine. And that one there is pristine. So, I will go to option two. And I will put these spark plugs back in. i put that one there. And that spark plug also I'm going to put back in. Then I'm going to go to option three. Oh, they're, they're also fine. So... There's only one spark plug that I've got to take out, and that one happens to be the one that's going to be the most difficult to get to. So I've got to get these wires here. So the, the right ignition wires. Pop that one out, that one, that one, and that one. So that bit comes off. That's the spark. Yeah, it's that one there. So I want to go to that spark plug right there. Perfect. Right. So I come away from that there now. We'll, we we got to put the top bit back on. Um, there's no way that we can repair a spark plug. So we need to just go with that one. Uh, sign here. There we go. Right. And then I can come back over here. And I go to option two. Spark plug. Put you back on there. Right, task completed. It was that easy. Put that all back on. All primary tasks are completed. That's all done over on that side. Put the left ignition wires back on like that. Left engine cover. We can go back on. Uh, we put these both back through. The bottom engine cowling. Four of them need to go on like that. And then I've got to do the bit on the top. This might take us a while. So the, the, those down there, that, that's, that's easy. That's, that's easy stuff, that is. But you... <laughs> oh, you got to love it, don't you? Don't you just love it? Look at that. Look. All the way around there like that. Now I'm just going to literally, I've just got to wait and watch the animation go through them all. We need some upgrades. That's what we need. We need to be able to do it a lot faster. Well, that's most of them, the, the, the first half anyway. And then we've got to go around and we've got to put all the small bolts on. So we, we do that. The, the nuts on the bolts, I should say. The nuts have now got to go on the bolts. Put all of those on there. You can see them all hovering underneath. Just while we wait for them all to be done up. Moving up through there. It's that one and that one. Look at this. Get them quick. Get them all in place. We're halfway. Round we go, round the end. I tell you what, as far as mechanical work goes, even I might be able to do this bit, right? E even Frithgar might be able to cope with taking this casing off. Probably wouldn't be able to cope with very much more than that, because I always manage to find a way to get it wrong somehow. But I think I could cope with that little bit. Right, so there we've got that bit done. Uh, don't want to put the top engine cowling on yet. I need to put all of this back front now. Another big load of unnecessary stuff that I did. Um, taking off all of the propeller, the propeller housing, and, and all the rest of that. That's, that's, that's all going to be put back on. Uh, front engine cowling there. Let's just do those two up. I'm not going to worry about going around and looking at it. We want to do this as quickly as possible. So put the air screw hub back on. Put you back in like that. Um, so it's the main piece on there. Then... Propeller over the top. Put that one on. Those around over the top. And then there's another bit that covers that over with one little bolt that goes over the top. Or one little nut, rather, that goes over the top there. So the spinner goes on like that. And then we do that one up. 
That's all now in place. Everything is in place on there. Top cowling. Those four onto there. After the top cowling is done, we've then got that one to go into place and put you on. Wait. Why ain't it working? Oh. Yeah, like that. Do that one up. And back over this way. Put you on. And do that up there. And then that one down. Right. I have done. Let me just... Oh, right click to come out of that mode. It's right click to come out of that mode. Okay, now I'm done. I've, uh, yes, and it's even going to allow me to sign it. I can't believe that took so long. Right. That says Rithgar. Yes. Job done. Aircraftman first class, 500 points. It's going to take us a little while to get up there. But we're getting there slow. We're up to 300. So continue career. Let's see if we've got anything new. The, the refueling bit, now it'll be a little bit faster now that they've changed the bit with the ladder, which is really good. I like that they've changed a the bit with the ladder. Replace front windscreen, the propeller, and the compression legs. No fuel! Right after takeoff, we were hit by a bird. Luckily, we were able to land safely. Please fix the damage and check the compression legs. The landing was rough. Okay, so windscreen, propeller, compression legs. Oh, that propeller doesn't look good. That propeller has seen better days. Windscreen's all cracked. That's no good. Um, and compression legs. Right, we don't have to refuel it, which is quite frankly wonderful as far as I'm concerned. Um, how do you get up there? You can't jump in this one. Ah, but I can do that so I can actually I can get in there. That would be the remains of the bird. Let's do that there a minute. And... Right, the one thing is the camera doesn't pan through. Like, you, you, you support bars and that. You've actually... The camera's got to pan over the top of it. So take you out there like that. And... The windscreen now lifts away. Right. So then we look up here and we've got a busted up propeller. That's not looking good. So we want to go to the spinner right there. We've got to take all of this one off. We've done this before. We've done this a few times. We've got the spinner back plate right there. Take that one off. And then we've got the compression legs. The compression legs we might be able to repair. Um, you know, with the, with the whole oil thing. But I don't think we'll be able to repair the rest of it. So then uh, propeller comes off next. Okay, that's that bit done. And then I want to come over here. I've got those compression legs there. Which means I'm going to need to jack. Take you. Come over here and put you under there like that. And this is the bit that I, I... I really love this. I really love how the jack works. I need to... There. Like that. And then once it r takes the weight of the plane, you've got to do big circles with your mouse in order to be able to lift the thing up. And I genuinely love that you've got to do that. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Right. Now I need to... Uh, Compression leg down there. Take you off. Take you off. Hang on. Did he say check the compression legs? Replace. Replace. Right. So put that one down there. And then... I need to go over to that side. I'll have to go around this side to do it by the look of it. Uh, compression leg. That one there, and then a bolt there, and then one down there as well. Right, that's the other compression. So that's, oops, don't press escape, right click. That's those bits we've got to take off. Now, can I repair the compression legs? I'm not going to be able to repair anything else. So you've got part maintenance space. Oh, it's, it's all the way along. Okay, so it's got the here. We can't do that on any of them, which means that we need the four parts. Two compression legs and the... Um, yeah, right, left, propeller, and windshield. I need all of them. There, like that. Cost in resource points. Doesn't actually say anything about resource points. Right. I don't have enough room. There. That was sort of said for his garden, didn't it? Sort of. 
It's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. It'd be good enough for anybody. Now, we go to option number two. And then we can come in here like this. And... Ah, there we go. Right. So we can zoom in. I put a brand new compression leg onto there. And take that over to that side. And then I'll come over this side. Over here. I put another brand new one in here. Onto there. And down onto there. Replace the compression leg. That task is complete. Then we'll look into here. And we'll replace that front windscreen. Oops. I went out through the top. Didn't mean to do that. So I'll put those two bits up there. And then I'll do these two bits down here. How can I get... Oh, I have to go, I have to go like that. Right. There and there. Right, that went, we've got a brand new windscreen on there now. And then we want a brand shiny new propeller. Task completed, replace, and that should be task completed, all of them. So the spinner plate right there, that now needs to go on. So we can just run around. I guess really you ought to be, well, I ought to be doing those sort of opposite sides for a spinner plate. Uh, you know, keep it nice and even so you don't have it too tight on any one side. That would be my guess. There, that's all done. Oh, no, there's one more thing that we've got to do. We've got to lower the jack down. There. There we go. Big circles on the mouse. And then take you down like that. And pick the jack up like that. And, oh, no, I'm going to take it back over this side. This is, where, this is where the jack lives. Okay, I'll put you down. There we go. Right, now I can put you down. And we come back over here. So there is another job done on a practice place. This is the only plane that we've done any work on so far. But we have now done it. So we, we will sign here. Like that. Excellent. Right, that's another five points. Replace the compression legs. Five points. Final result. Perfect job. That gives us another 30 points. Which gave us 45 points altogether. 340. We've got 160 to go. Continue career. What is our next task? Are we going to get a different plane? Or is it going to be the same type of plane again? A lot of practice planes here. I'm guessing this is an airfield where they train the pilots rather than anything else. Tiger Moth, Mark Whitman. This Mark Whitman bloke seems to be doing a lot of damage. Please check all filters while preparing the aircraft. Oil filters, the fuel filter, refuel. Um, oil filters. So there's two oil filters somewhere on it. I mean, I suppose it's not a bad thing that we're doing it constantly on the same plane. Because um, otherwise we, we're going to have some trouble with it eventually. Uh, right, I'm going to take off the, the guarding. Quickly undo those like that. And that one as well. So that one comes off. And then take off the top engine cowling like that. And we'll also take off the bottom engine cowling as soon as this one is um, finished doing. There, bottom engine cowling. That's got those eight in there because that bracket that it's got over there. And that will all drop off. And that should allow us to get to it. So we got one there by the look of it. That's There's one filter. Um, that's a pre Oh, that's the oil pressure filter there. That's the fuel filter right there. So we take that one out. And you need to do the fuel filter before you refuel. That much I'm fairly sure of. Right, so we take you out. Uh, induction pipe. So we've got the pressure filter. Oil filter there. Oh. I'm stuck inside the plane. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'll come over this side. Uh, undo those two there. Take that one out. And then I've got the pressure filter, left magneto. I don't think I've got any other filters. But I think it's that one as well that I need to take. Alright, I'm getting stuck on that one. Right. I'll do that one there and that one there. And then I'll zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that's better sort of get to that one reasonably easy. Right, so we've got a timing gears unit there, left magneto. I think that's all of it, is those three. Um, check the filters. He said check the filters. 
Have I got an inventory? Inventory, I do. Right. Um, damage. The fuel filter is damaged. The oil filter is pristine. The pressure filter is damaged. Ah, right. Okay, I'm looking at it right in front of me. Um, repairable. No, 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 no. Uh, the oil filter is pristine, so I don't need to worry about that one. But the other two... They do actually need to be repaired. So we'll go and do those at the moment. Well, we have the ability to repair them. Whether I will actually be able to repair them is entirely another matter. Because we know that this particular mini game is a little bit difficult. And I'm uh, not very good. I'm, I keep trying to release the thing too quickly. There! 67% restore status. You got four chances to get 30% on each one. Ah! Ha ha! I did it! I fully restored a part! Ha 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 ha! Cooking on gas now, aren't we? Look at that! Right, we'll do that one there. It's not quite. Actually, I think it might be slightly less sensitive than it was. Oh! <gasps> That was seriously tricky, right? <laughs> How am I supposed to do that last one? But seriously, that mini game's actually really good. I like, I, I quite, I, I do like that mini game. But I restored both those parts. I actually did it. I like, I, I did a thing, like a, a proper thing. I, I did it. Do you not understand the magnitude of this? I did, a, a, like, a, a, a whole thing. All by myself. Right, that oil filter can go back onto there. That's the pressure filter on there. And then we've got the actual oil filter here. That one to go back on. Nice. Right, now, I don't want to put that one on yet. I want to come over here. And I want to put the fuel filter on. So put you on first. And yeah, we can reach up in under. But it's just a lot easier if you can do it like that. Right, so there's the fuel filter done. So then I can put that one back and do those two up like that. I'll put the bottom cowling on. There, like that. I got those eight in there. I can't believe I actually managed to repair those parts on that, uh, on the repair table. It's like, I, I'm sure they must have slowed that down ever so slightly. Just the tiniest bit. Not a huge amount, but it does feel like maybe they slowed it down a bit. Now, this is the bit that I don't get, right? Oh, hang on. There. It's sort of... You, you've got to get the mouse in the right position to close. So I put that one there and I do that, right? And then I've got that. So you, you've got to just... You've got to be able to click in the right place for it to swing down. But on the other side, it didn't seem to be wanting to line up properly. No, right click to come out of it. Come on, Frith, you should know this by now. And then we go over and get the ladder. So I can just take the ladder there. This is climb the ladder. I don't have the option to pick that ladder up from the front anymore. You only have it from there. You hold it from this side when you go to place it down. But you don't any longer have the option to pick it up when you are in front of the ladder. Which, to my mind, is a huge huge improvement to the overall performance of the game so we go to option one so that we can undo that fuel cap right there um i while that's undoing i can actually move away from it which is even better um and then i'm no longer acts this is brilliant such a small detail that they've changed there but there's no danger of me accidentally picking that ladder up when I go around to climb the ladder anymore. And that has made a significant difference, as far as I'm concerned. Right. We'll load that one up like that. And that's done. Um, because also, that's made the, you know, having to do this job is, it is a little bit tedious having to do the refueling. But it's, it's messing around with that. This has made this job just a little bit faster. It's just sped it up a bit, and it's made the task just flow a little bit more simply, which I think is really good. That is, a, a, as far as I'm concerned, is a big bonus. It, it does make a difference to the overall um, enjoyment of the game. You've got a bit that was starting to get a bit too tedious. 
is no longer like that. It's now uh, an, an enjoyable task. Rather, no, I don't want that uh, task up there. We're done. We're done. We've, we've done another one. There. Oil filters, five points. Fuel filter, five points. Free fuel the aircraft, five points. Saved. Spare parts, two. I got ten points there. Final result, perfect job. Another 30 points on there. So the spare parts, we've got 105 points to go before we reach aircraft in first class. And how are we doing? we got time for another job, I think. We've got time to at least start another job. Let's have a look. Let's see what we get next. I wish I really started to enjoy this game. Right, it's, it's different being able to work on a car. Check pistons and rings. Refuel the aircraft. Pistons and rings. That is the bit on the top, isn't it? It's got to be. Good way to get access to the pistons is to remove the entire cylinder assembly. So do this, press and hold left mouse button on the assembly for about a second, then remove all highlighted screws. Uh, cylinder assemblies. Right. Hmm. Cylinder assemblies. We got Mark Whitman back again. Tell you what, Whitman does give these things a bit of a hammering, doesn't he? Okay, so let me just lift up this engine cowling a second. Cylinder block assembly. Right. So it's from... It is... It's another one from in underneath. I don't want to do that. Not for a second. I want to go option two. There. Put you back down again. Like that. Right. Option one. First up, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go over to you. I'm going to run over here. I'm going to refuel. All right. Probably shouldn't do this first. I'm going to do it anyway. Just because I can. And then I'm going to... Undo that one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to run away immediately while it's still unscrewing. This makes such a big difference as well, being able to do that. I mean, I don't know if I could do it before anyway, but um, it's certainly a lot faster. So then I can do that. Refuel. That's done. Right click. Come out up here and grab that. Yep. Put you over there. Back up here with number two. Right click and away. And I'm over there. Right. The time that that took, very, very minimal. Right. That took hardly any time at all. That was really, really easy. So we go to option one now and we'll lift you up like this. And I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to remove the... Nope, I can't remove the bottom engine cowling just yet. I've got to do this side over here. With the sun right in our eyes. That's great. There. Right, you're off. Bottom engine cowling. Take those out. So we drop off the bottom engine cowling. I shouldn't need to take off any more. I shouldn't need to take the front and the propeller off. I don't think I do. Um... I've got, got to check the, the cylinders and stuff. Right, so i got four cylinder blocks under here. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, I've got four cylinder blocks like that. All right, left engine cover. I can come out, so I don't need to take that front bit off. At all. Uh, cylinder block. Let's just press escape a minute. Check the pistons and the rings. Okay. Well, first up, let's remove these wires, right? There, there, and there. Take them out of this side. So I will go with this cylinder block over here, there, and press and hold the whole thing for about a second, it said, so we can remove the whole unit together. Me... Let me move out of there a minute, and then I'll come back in here. So I've got the cylinder block there. Cylinder barrel. Yeah, cylinder barrel there, and then... I don't really get what it said. Cyl cylinder heads. There's a spark plug there. There were... Right, I'm doing it like that, and then... Ah, right, there. That's what I had to do. So I, I need to be outside of that. I need to be in this one here. If I click on it just like that, 
It then goes to the individual parts like that. So a right click is just going to the cylinder block assembly. If I go to that kind of phase and then I right click, it um, it has these um, bolts and stuff on it. So I can remove that one. So what I'll actually do for a minute is I'm going to come out here and I'm go to those ignition wires and I'm going to remove those and I'll just remove that whole piece just to make it a little bit easier and then cylinder block like that come in like this so I've got a bolt there that I want to remove there's two there there's one and one on this side as well they're coming out and then I've got bits oh what's on this side then Oh, that's part of the... That's, that's the manifold coming out of it, is it? I think so. That one come out there. So we undo all of those. And that whole piece drops out. Right, so I've got the exhaust pipe there. And the induction. Right, that goes all the way up there. Air intake. Ah, uh, right. So, no, I... I don't know. I don't want to do any of that. So what I'm actually going to want to do is... I want to drop all four of these out. Which means undoing all of the little bolts over on the other side. All of these bits over here that are on all of the exhaust manifold and those. So it drops all four of these right out the bottom. And then we got to inspect them somewhere else. And I'm not really sure where we go about doing all the inspection. But I'll just, I'll, I'll quickly run, I'll, I'll do, oh, do I need, yeah, I do. I do need to undo all of them. So I'll do it like that. And that way all the other bits, they stay in place and we just drop all of this straight out the bottom of the plane. And that does make our life a lot easier, in theory. And here are the other bits undoing, yeah, they're undoing, there we go. So one more. Wait, what? Ah. Okay, so in order to, be able to do that last one. I gotta put these others back together. I would guess. How do how do I do this? First up, we'll have a look in here, and we'll go to inventory. Cowling, cowling, bottom engine cover, left ignition, right ignition wires. Wait a minute. Well, that's not inventory. So we we obviously need to go part maintenance space. Select part to restore. Task. Piston rings in it. Um, have I got another? Ah, that's what these benches are for. Look. Right. Okay, so come over to this. And then I can take these bits off. Spark plug. Spark plug on that side as well. Rocket cover. Take that bit off. Like that rocker mechanism. Right, well, that's a cylinder head. Cylinder... No. No. If I, I've got to take all of this thing apart in order to be able to get to it. Rocker mechanism. I don't think there is any other way for me to be able to get into these. Cylinder barrel. I need to be able to check those piston rings. Take those three out on the top. Look like there's going to be an easy way to do this. So then I've got the cylinder head right there. Um, valve. Valve. Cylinder head. Cylinder barrel. Uh, option three. Head gasket. Fine. Don't see anything else on there that I'm supposed to check? I don't think so, anyway. So, we go to option two right now, and... I guess put the cylinder head back on. We just check a minute and have a look in inventory. Spark plug, valve... Piston ring. I'm, I'm supposed to check the piston rings. Well, they're out here, aren't they? Take that cylinder head off, and then go back into here. Cylinder head is fine. I'm looking at that there. I'm not seeing anything else on it. 
look like that piece can come apart. It looks like that piece is sort of all joined together like that. Uh, valve, rock mechanism, rocker brackets, the cylinder head, uh, piston rings, uh, the pistons and the rings. Is that what I've checked? Cylinder barrel. Head gasket. Right, that one comes off. And then that one comes off. Yeah, that there that's that is every that is everything, isn't it? Uh Right, well now Okay, I I shouldn't have done everything, I don't think, on there, because now I've I've sort of I've I've done this, so what can I do? I can take the cylinder barrel there. Can I do something with you? If I have you in inventory, can I put you back? I'm, I'm showing F1 help. Uh, toggle zoom, select parts. There. Uh, right mouse button, deselect part. Right, install part. Turn to character movement. Hmm. Apparently I can't do it on there, which means that I'm going to have to put one of them back together in here, aren't I? This is what I'm concerned about. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oops. Uh, now what? Yeah, now I've now things aren't going quite according to plan. So I, I go to number one, and I will go. Yeah, that's the the cylinder barrel there. So I want to go like that. Right, what? I bugged it now. No, I don't want you. So uh, go out of there like that. Let's let's try this again. Go back to you. That one. There. Oh, uh, I think what I need to do is I think I do need to actually put a piece back on. Right, I've got that one there. So I go to that cylinder block there. And I'll put those screws back on. And I'll try doing it like that just to see if it will work. And then I'll right click so it comes out with part of it. And instead of continuing on with that, I'll right click out. And I'll move into there. No. Why aren't you working? Nope. Right, I've definitely got. I've, I've, I've definitely messed something up. <laughs> Frithgar broke it. I go to you. See that one there? I've got two bolts. I undo those two, and it's dropped it out. That's how it's supposed to work. This one over here, I didn't do anything up on it, so it's got nothing to undo, and that's where we're going wrong. You see, it's got nothing that I can undo on it. I go to you right there. It doesn't like that. So if I come out of here and I know what I'll do, I'll take that I'll take that spark plug out and I'll try doing it like this. Look, so then I will go to number two. I put that spark plug back in. There. Is it gonna let me do any more? No. <laughs> Oh, I've messed this up completely, I have. I have messed this up completely. Nope. Right. Uh, cylinder barrel, head gasket, cylinder head. These are... They, see, everything's fine on that. Right, it looks like in order to be able to do this one, I'm just going to have to take the whole thing apart like this in order to be able to make it work. Um, so we're just going to have to do this upside down instead of working from the bench over there. We've just essentially got to do what we would be doing over on the bench in under here in order to get all of this to fall apart. And then I'm hoping that I'll be able to put it back together later. 
So, yeah, it's it's a little bit of a nuisance, but at least we are still able to. At least it is going to work. Uh, I'll take that valve out of there and that one out. And then the cylinder head. Why isn't that coming out? What am I doing? Something's not. Oh, spark plug over there. Take that one out. And can come off. Cylinder head to come off of there. And then I've got the cylinder barrel up through there. So now if I go to option three, I can check that balander, uh, balander, uh, barrel. That's, uh, that's fine. That's pristine. Uh, the piston itself I also need to check, don't I? Which I haven't been checking. And, oh, there. Right. Okay, so we take the, the, the whole mechanism off. And then we've got these piston rings here. So I also need to check. Right, those are fine. So then if I go to option one, remove that assembly there. Is it going to... Oh, no, no. Um, cylinder block assembly. Cylinder barrel. Now I, want, I need to come down underneath and take the head gasket off then the cylinder barrel and then I'm able to check the piston up here piston ring one that one's damaged that one's damaged this one's probably damaged as well right so if I go to option one I can remove those there and there. Right, so we've got three piston rings come off of there. Then I've got... So I don't want to do anything to that one. I want to leave that one for a minute. Uh, nope, I don't want to do that. I also want to go to uh, this one over here. Oop, I didn't mean to take that one off. I want to go to option three. And I want to check that one. That's damaged. So that one's probably damaged. The actual piston itself, that is damaged. So how... Oh. Right. How do I take that one out? I can remove that one there. And that one. Piston itself. How do I even get to that? Like, seriously, how am I... How am I able to reach that in there? That's, that, that doesn't seem right. Honestly, that doesn't actually seem quite right. Uh, nope, I don't want to do that. Okay, so we've got one more in there that we want to do something with, but we'll worry about that one in a minute. We've already checked the other bits. Um, pistons and rings. So, the cylinder barrel, I don't need to do anything with that at all. It's just the pistons and the rings. So, I can come back over here. I've, I've got to reassemble two of those from scratch, which is a bit unfortunate. But I should also be able to assemble one of them like this. I've got the complete cylinder block that I can put into there. So I want to put that one back on. And this time I'm actually going to do up all of those. It's a lot faster if I just did it. If I'd just done it properly in the first place, this would have been a whole lot quicker. And a lot easier as well. Still, we've done it now. It's all done. Quickly get all of those done up. And then I'm not going to need to worry about that one anymore. And then I can switch over to option one, and I can go to this assembly here, and I can take all of those off. So that'll drop that one out. I don't need to inspect it. I don't need to do anything to that one. It's just the pistons and the rings that we've got to be looking at. And that bit is going to be a lot easier. But I do have to put these other two back together over here, because I dismantled them elsewhere. So then we go to option three, which is the checking. Piston is fine. Piston ring is fine. That one's fine. And that one's fine. Okay, so that's all good. I don't need to worry about that one. Um, I can now go to option two. Cylinder block on there. And if I actually do them up, before I come out of this mode, it will put the thing back on. And then I don't need to like worry about it in the slightest. So we're going to need... Uh, I can come out of there. Come out of there. While that's all doing up, I can carry on and do other things, which I've since found out, which is absolutely fantastic. That makes life a lot easier for me. Uh, I cannot replace anything. So I need six piston rings and one piston. I can't... Well, not replace. I can't repair any of it. So we go into here. 
I want uh, six piston rings and one piston. And there we go. Sign for that one. Back over here. Now, how quick can I put this thing back together? We will go for option two. Putting things back together option. So this is this is the mode that we're in. I I I I, I, I can't get any closer. I, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get in a bit closer. Right there. Yeah, okay. Uh, just a ring there, there, and there. Right. So we can put that one on. We've got the cylinder barrel. That's in place. Now we have a look down in underneath. Can I bring that around a bit? There we go. Head gaskets. Uh, cylinder head can go on. I've got all of these bits to go on now with the cylinder head. So while that is doing up there, I can then go over to this piston and get that one going. And I can't do anything on there yet. I see. Right. So you, you can sort of put things going, but you've still got to... You wait for them all to be done up. So you can kind of like... It's, it's like you're putting orders in. That's that's what you're doing on it. You, you're putting in little orders on, on all of it. Um, head gasket on there. And then that one will go on. And I can set all of those doing up. Like that. So while those orders are sort of going through. I can then... Ask that spark plug to be put in. And i got another one over here spark plug to be put in there and then we'll go down under here and we'll start having a look at these so I've got a valve, a valve, another one and another one a rocker mechanism with those three and up here I can't put the, yeah I can put the rocker mechanism on there with those three Right, oh, it looks like we've got to do it like this. So we've, we've, got to, we've got to hang in underneath and put these two back together. Because we did make some small mistakes, I don't feel that we did too bad on it, though. You know, as, as far as mistakes go, we've, we've made some fairly spectacular mistakes in our time um, with, with various different games. And I, I feel that this was middle of the range. Middle of the range, may, maybe even towards the lower end of the range. I, I think we did well. I'm pleased with our results here. So we've got the ignition wires on here. Uh, one, two, and three. I need to put a spark plug in there before I can do that one up. Go on, do you up. Uh, put that one on. Uh, also, put that cowling back on. Two rods there. Back over to this side. Uh, I've got a spark plug to go on to there. Can't put any other bits on. I'll do that. There. Bottom cowling. Do those four up like that. Right, there's everything there. I can go top cowling up there while those bolts being done up down the bottom. Yeah. Do you up there like that. Over to this side. The right engine cowling and that one. That one can be closed down and done up like that. I'm hoping I've done everything. I'm hoping I've done. I have. I've done it. <laughs> there we go. Right, check the pistons and the rings. Wait, that wasn't five points. Perfect job, but they didn't give me five points. Four, three, seven. I've got, I've got an odd number of points. Right, we're on 437 anyway, so continue career. We will be continuing our career in our next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. We will deal with all of this in our next one. Problem with left side ignition system. This is probably going to be tricky. Right. Um, oh, wait, what? Some tasks have a time limit. You could recognize them. Oh, dear. I've got five minutes to fix the problem with the left side ignition system. Doesn't react when I switch the left magneto off. Uh, 
Well, we'll worry about that next time. So, yes, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.